So today I'll be talking about the mini moon phases and how they correlate to your life, the meaning of them in the birth chart as well as in the current time of the moon. So if you look at what the moon is in at your birthday, it will determine what kind of year you're going to need to expect. So using the moon's phase in any chart and in your own life is going to tell you a deeper meaning. Um, going forward, we're just going to go with it. It's a uh, new moon is going to be the conjunction aspect and it's going to be most correlated with the sign of the sun, Leo. It's the emergence of the ego. It's the emergence of a new possibility of a new identity going forward into the unknown and the battle, right? Because there's other egos out there and there's a lot of darkness like the new moon has, but if you are staying positive and oriented specifically in your own will, then you will go forward into expressing what it is you need to express in your entire life, or maybe it's the month, or maybe it's the year. Just using that for an example. Um, and by the way, the new moon is 45 degrees to nine, zero to 45 degrees after the moon, the sun in your chart. The word crescent is 45 degrees to 90 degrees. It's the sextile aspect and most correlated with the, with the crescent moon, or I'm sorry, it's more correlated with the planet moon in the astrology chart. So this is the struggle. This is the needs of the person at odds with the needs of the other. You have all these very sensitive emotional needs and you have these all own ideas and maybe matching them with what the needs and wants of others is going to be a struggle for you, going to be a difficult process for you to unfold in your whole life or unfold in the month or the year. So looking at that phase is going to tell you a lot of information and give you some insights on what your struggle is. Also, what aspect is the moon at that specific time to other planets it will also tell you more into what kind of struggles you're going to need to face and overcome. So, uh, you know, as a sensitive feeling person that's very in tune with the inner world of the human psyche, you uh, are going to be at odds with the outer world and the psyches of others. Okay, going forward, uh, the first quarter moon is directly cor correlated with the trine aspect. Jupiter is the planet that represents this first quarter at, uh, position, and it's 90 degrees to 135 degrees after the sun. So this is an expansion time where you're looking at your own ego and your own identity and seeing that there's actually much more to learn. There's much more to experience in your life. And it kind of is a dropping of away a little bit of what you thought. And it is going into the realms of how what everything you thought is going to apply and how you're going to take action on what it is everything you've learned. So this is a very action oriented phase and it's almost going to that, you know, full moon. So it, it has its target, just like the archer, which is this, the ruler of Jupiter. However, the target is, a challenge in itself, right? Because you have to learn some things before you can actually hit the target. Uh, so it is about learning about that whole, uh, how are you gonna take action on what it is your own identity you have identified with the past and 
how you have integrated it into your own life. All right, so the gibbous moon is 135 degrees to 180 degrees after the sun in your chart, and it's most correlated with the Saturn planet and the aspect of inconjunct or quincunx, and it's just almost that full moon capacity. So it is about perfection, and it's about perfecting what you have all done and accomplished in the past, and yet there's more to accomplish. There, yet there's more to be done before your full expression and ideal life is to be practicalized and used in an efficient way. So making sure that you are taking responsibility mostly for your own accomplishments, your own projects, your own uh, desires in your life. You know, those. this is the time of your life or this is the phase of your life that is going to bring you into a greater sense of power through, not through struggle, through test, through uh, conventional practicality, right? Because we, we are a unique human being and have unique things that we want to share, but we have to make it structured and practical for everybody else to use. Because if we don't go out there and polish it and mature what it is we know, then we're not going to be able to, other people aren't going to be able to use it. So making use of all the things that you've been through in your past and refining it to a specific product, package, or construct so that you can distribute it in a way that is useful. All right. Full moon is going to be 135 degrees to 100 degree, 180 degrees after the sun. So it's going to be opposite of the sun where the sun is in your chart or it's going to be slightly after the opposition. <clears throat> it's mostly co correlated with the sign of Mercury. So it is that intellectual distribution of your own thoughts and own learning. It's all about illumination. It's all about making sure that all you've learned in the past is going to apply directly to your communication and how you relate to others. Um, this is definitely a time where you're intellectually thinking. You know, the full moon is a lunatic moon. So people get to go crazy and, you know, there's an accelerated energy. And it's all because of that heightened mental awareness and heightened um, focus on what it is that you want. So this period of illumination is definitely going to witness many insights, many learnings about what it is that you've done in the past and going forward, what you're going to accomplish or what you're going to... Uh, learn about next. It's it's a very thought-provoking time, the full moon. And if you were born on the full moon, then uh, you have are full of ideas. You're full of uh, all these concepts and insights. And it is really important for you to communicate them, uh, network them, and branch them out so that you can feel fulfilled, essentially. Okay. And that's most correlated with the opposition because it, it is a state of balance. It is a state of uh, taking what your initial instincts of the new moon were and bringing them into thought, the higher thought, right? And bringing those primal needs and those prior, primal uh, unconscious, subconscious will power into the, the thought realm and actually reflecting on it and seeing how it's going to work. So next we're going to see the disseminating moon, which is 135 degrees to 90 degrees after the sun. Okay. 
Or it could be said that it's before. So it just depends on your wording, if you know that. Um, but uh, the trine aspect is most correlated with this disseminating moon, and it is ruled by Venus. So it's, it's, it is about distributing. It's, a, it's about balancing, and it's about taking into consideration how you're relating this information of the past, how you're relating and making it beautiful, orienting it in a way that creative and using your own abilities so that it is possible for you and others to connect in a harmonious way. So taking what the full moon illumination gave you and then taking it forward into a deeper context of the many creative aspects and also pragmatic ways that you can implement what the new moon insights gave you. Um, so it's, it is definitely about going deeper into the psyche and going deeper into what it means to be human in a lot of ways and how you relate. So last quarter moon is going to be uh, the sextile and that's uh, most correlated with Uranus, the, the last quarter. And that is essentially reorientation. It's about breaking up those old constructs of the whole cycle that you went through before and then taking away what it is useful for you and then going on this new future path of evolution. This new future is, uh, is unknown. You know, it's leading to the balsamic and the new moon again. So you are upheavaling that old sense of self and that sense of security, you know, that it, it is a, a, a place of instability because you, you don't want to go into the dark. You don't want to go into this new phase subconsciously because you've already been through so much, but it's this phase and this symbology is wanting you to take on a new characteristic, take on a new course of evolution for you to benefit the whole and the hu whole greater human humanity as well as, uh, you know, your own individuality and your own eccentric self that you can serve humanity with. So the last final phase is the balsamic and that is most correlated with the conjunction. It is the... Mars is correlated with also Mars. Uh, balsamic is definitely about the distillation. It's distilling what everything you have learned and chosen to take away and break apart from the old structure and then refining it in a way that's, that's very potent in, to the new cycle. It could be the new cycle for yourself. It could be the new cycles of others. It could be you know, if you're learning a certain subject and you don't distill it down to a way that can be practical, practical and be taught and be um, distributed, it can be uh, produced and consumed by others, then it's going to be useless to others. And this phase of the moon, whether you were born under this moon or that's the, the phase of the moon that your birthday landed on, this particular year, that will be a major theme in your life of boiling down what it is that you have to offer, what it is that you are, your message is, and making it so clear and making it so potent for others that they can properly use it in the way that there's going to help them in their own cycle in their own new new phase of entering this pattern again this hero's journey so excuse me but uh that about concludes the whole moon phase video uh, hopefully that gave you guys a little jog and uh we'll see you guys on the next one thanks